G'day and welcome to another video with Better Picks. Hope this finds everyone well. Today's video is looking at the latest updates with Lightroom Desktop and the updates are really fantastic. It really is pushing Lightroom Desktop into a great powerhouse of uh, editing options. It's certainly uh, going in the right direction to help make your edits and workflow smooth, efficient and feature packed. All right, let's get into it. So the first one that we're going to look at is dual monitor support, which really is a great feature. Now, while using the screen capture option that I'm using today, I can't actually show you what that looks like across two monitors. What we will have a look at is uh, how to actually achieve it. And if we have a look on our screen just down here, you can see that we have the option for a secondary window. And if we click on that, you can see we either have detail or square grid. Now I'm going to check on square grid. Uh, it's not possible for me with the screen capture to show you my second monitor, but I can click and drag that option onto uh, just over the top so you can see what it actually looks like. So this is what my second monitor looks like. So you can see it's just a bunch of smaller thumbnails. Beauty is, is that the thumbnails are not tiny uh, and you do have the option there to um, change the size of the thumbnail but uh, and it, you can see it's also identified with that second window text there as well and uh, it just gives you the option to have this which I'm moving around at the moment on the second monitor or the least critical monitor and uh, it allows you to sort of look at all of your images uh, at the same time as while you're looking at the image that you're actually editing and the nice thing about that is particularly for people that are shooting large volumes of images which uh, this particular trip to uh, the Southern Ocean was certainly the case I think I shot around 15,000 images it means that you can look quickly and easily to see what other images are around the one that you're editing or any other images that may be worth looking at and editing at the time. Uh, and that way you've got quick and easy access just simply by looking at your second monitor uh, to know what's there. Another scenario is, for example, you know, if you're shooting corporate events or weddings where you, again, are working through large volumes of images, it means that you can quickly go through and look at what is available to you within the library of images that you've shot. So another fantastic feature there, uh, being able to work across two monitors without doubt. If we have a look down the bottom here, Alt-C or Compare, then it allows us to see both uh, the before and after the edit. Now you can see this uh, photograph here which I photographed in South Georgia on my trip to Antarctica. Uh, I've done some edits to it, a little bit of colour balance, contrast, saturation, uh, vibrance and uh, colour temperature and a little bit of a crop as well. You can see the original, it was a very flat day uh, and you can see the obvious change in edits there to the image. So that's a great way um, just to have a bit of a, a check of your, you know, what you're editing and how you're going with your edit and your approach to see that you're happy with where the direction's going. I find sometimes with images that when I start editing, I start to lose a little bit of track of, you know, Am I actually pushing the saturation, for example, too far? Am I pushing the contrast too far? So this just allows you to, to kind of revert back to the original edit while at the same time uh, completing edits. And it just helps you to sort of see, uh, you know, where you started and where you're currently at with your edit. So I think that's a really good way to go. Uh, and certainly having both versions up at the same time uh, is a really good, uh, really good option. So the main thing to just make sure is that when you go down to view and your you have compare before and after checked as well. So that just means that when you do go into that uh, comparison view or compare view down on the uh, bottom left hand corner there, uh, that you uh, do have the right option popping up. So great feature and one that will certainly be welcomed, particularly images that uh, you're really trying to refine your edits as best as possible. Along with uh, Adobe Camera Raw, Lightroom now has uh, the Adaptive uh, Profile, uh, which is an AI feature. And if we just have a look at another image that hasn't had any edits done to it, I'm going to have a look at this one here. And you can see that uh, if we go up to the top there, there's no edits that have been applied. Everything is as it's shot. 
and uh, if we scroll all the way to the top you can see with profile again it defaults to Adobe color and you can see that we have that adaptive color there as well so if we just click on that one you can see that it uh, makes a bit of an adjustment to the color and uh, basically the way the image looks and uh, as I mentioned in my video around the update to adaptive color in Adobe Camera Raw, it just offers you a good starting point. Personally, my approach is to still uh, make all adjustments manually, but it's just a good starting point, as I mentioned, to look at uh, you know what color adjustments are going to help to improve your image. If we go down to that compare uh, option as well, you can see uh, the difference there in the color. There's certainly not huge changes, but just enough to kind of get you in the right direction. And uh, I think uh, the changes that have been made with that adaptive color in this particular image, they work well and would serve as a good starting point for uh, you know future edits within this image. So those are the updates for uh, Lightroom Desktop version 8.2. Certainly some very practical uh, tools there that are now available and obviously updating the color profile options as well in line with the other Adobe products. I think they're going to be welcomed by Lightroom desktop users. I know I'm using Lightroom desktop more and more uh, in my personal work as well as my uh, client work. And uh, look, it's just becoming a better and better platform and one that I'm enjoying using. Thanks very much for stopping by. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And as always, any questions are welcome in the comments below. Uh, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.